What up Fintastic, so in the last video I taught you how to use the applications to buy tickets and check routes for Finnish public transportation. But today I will teach you everything you need to know on how to actually ride the different vehicles, the buses, the trams, the metros and the local trains like a local. Let's go check it out. What up Fantastics? Welcome to another video. If you're here for the first time, welcome. My name is Alex and I make fantastic videos about Finnish culture, lifestyle and language. So if you're into those kind of things, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell one as well. Okay, we have seven different vehicles in this video and let's start with the number one and that is the buses. And pretty much every city in Finland uses buses, so very important information coming up. Pay attention. And riding buses is very easy, but there's a few things to keep in mind. First of all, once you've found your bus stop, you're waiting there in time and the bu when the bus comes, you have to wave at the driver that you want to get on. And most likely there might be other Finns or people in general in the bus stop and they might do the waving for you. But in case you're the only person there, you have to signal the driver that you want to get on. Because in case you don't, it's gonna just ride past you and you just have to wait for the next one. And another important point is that you have to get inside from the front and you have to show or buy the ticket from the driver. So you have the mobile app, you can just show the ticket to the driver or you can tap the card machine that's also in front of the bus or you buy directly from the driver. But remember, only cash is accepted in the bus. And once you got past the driver, just take any seat. But remember the Finnish nightmare. Don't sit next to a person if there's free seats available. Yeah, just kidding guys. Don't worry, just don't hesitate. Just take whichever available seat you want. And of course, what you need to know is when you need to get off. So you can see in the top display panels, the next stop, and also the end of the line stop. So make sure to keep an eye on when your stop is coming so you can get out. And when your stop is being displayed on the display, just punch the stop button and the bus will stop at that stop. However, not always the displays are working for some weird reason. So you have no idea when your stop is coming. And this is actually very inconvenient, but that's why, for example, why I use the Google Maps uh, route guide, because it will give me a push notification when uh, my stop is approaching, I talked about in the previous video. And sometimes you might also see these ticket inspectors jumping into the bus. I will talk about this in a, later in this video. And let's just quickly recap. So first thing is when you get to the bus stop, make sure you're taking the bus to the right direction you're going to because the bus stop has always two way stops. So on the other side it's going the other way and on the other side of the road it's going the other way. So make sure you don't go the wrong way with the bus. Remember to wave at the driver and get inside the bus to the front get your ticket or validate your ticket at the, at the driver. And if the inspectors jump in, remember to get prepared, but I'll talk about that more in a second. So buses pretty much operate in every city. For the next vehicles, which I'm going to talk about, like trams, metros, and so on, they are only in Helsinki. Keep that in mind. And now that we talk about trams, let's take that as the number two, trams. And trams are a very fun way to get around here in Helsinki. It's very fun and smooth way to get around. And tram stops work pretty much like bus stops. So you just locate the, bus, the tram stop where you're going and remember to take again the tram to the right direction. But what is different compared to the buses that you can get inside the tram from any door. The driver doesn't give a damn about your tickets. But once you get inside, there is the stamp machine. If you use the travel card or if you're using the mobile app, you don't really have to do anything at that point. And remember, there is no ticket sale inside the tram. So you cannot buy a ticket from the driver, for instance. What is good about the trams that the trams always have the displays on the top ceiling. You can see what is the next stop. And also there's always the announcer, which lets you know which is the next stop. And this is very good. You can always tell pretty much what is the next, unlike in the buses where it's kind of random. And again, when your stop is coming, you can just hit the button, punch button. Usually there, there's so many people in the tram that someone managed to push the stop button anyways. But if there's not, remember to just hit the punch when you want to get off. And that's pretty much it. Let's quickly recap. So you can get in, you can get in from whichever door you want. No ticket selling inside the train and no ticket inspection when you get in. So the ticket inspectors just jump in randomly. I will talk about again that in a little bit. So the vehicle number three you want to use in Helsinki are the local trains. And with the local trains you usually get around in a south, south north sector. So usually this is how like the trains go. And trains are pretty much the fastest way to get around as well. And each local train has its own letter. So there's for example I train, P train, A train 
Z train and so on. And you want to again use the applications to check out which uh, train you want to get. And the way you use the trains is just like you use tram. So when, when you get to the train station, you can jump in from any door you want. No ticket selling inside, no ticket inspection when you get inside. And there's really big displays which tell like pretty much all the stops and also the next stop with announcer. So it's very easy to get around and also know when to get off. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. So again, if you have the ticket in the mobile app, you don't have to do anything when you get in. If you use the card, you use the stamp machine inside the train. And if you have the paper ticket, again, you don't do anything. Also, one thing that maybe you should keep in mind that some of the local trains go actually outside of Helsinki. For example, the Z train goes all the way to Lahti and to that train you cannot buy the ticket from the Hoa Salad because that goes beyond Helsinki so that's something you keep in mind. By the way I'm going to make a video about how to travel long distance trains in Finland so make sure to hit the subscribe button you will get the video right to your feet. Vehicle number four is the metro or like subway how you say in some countries or languages. It's pretty much similar to train but the metros go like east west direction. And you can see this metro station, they have this like big M with this kind of like red background. So it's there very easy to spot. And make sure that if you are using or if you're buying the paper tickets from the machines, the tickets machines are located outside of the metro area. So the metro area usually involves like escalators or like stairs. So you have to make sure you have a valid ticket before you enter the metro area. You can actually see quite clearly where the metro area starts because if the tickets inspectors bust your ass, inside the metro area, not necessarily in the metro itself, they will bust you and give you 80 euro fine. I will talk about this more in a sec. But yeah, again, pretty much same stuff. You get inside from whichever door you want. No ticket inspection when you get inside. Big displays displaying what is the next stop with announcements. So very fast and comfy way to get around. And also ticket inspectors are randomly jumping in. Also one important thing to keep in mind about the metros is that there are only two lines east and west so whenever you go to the metro station just make sure you take the metro to the right direction because it goes either to the west or to the east so i've been mentioning this ticket inspector so what is that all about so in finland and especially in helsinki these tickets are inspected randomly so they don't do like full 100 inspections with every vehicle because they just don't have enough resources, I guess. And these ticket inspectors are very easy to spot. They have these like blue overalls. And like I said, they jump in randomly. For example, when I've been just uh, riding the tram and then in the next stop, I can see, oh, there's the ticket inspectors they're getting in. And then when they do, they will ask you to get your tickets ready. And if you're using the HOSL app and you have the, like the rotating icon there, there is like this ticket inspection button and they usually ask to click it and then there's this QR and they scan it and they see everything is okay. If you have the travel card and you've, you've stamped the card properly, they will scan your card. Or if you have the paper ticket, they will just check it that it's valid and so on. But if you don't have a valid ticket, you will get the 80 euro fine and that will go down the crapper. So make sure you don't ride ever without a ticket because you can never know when they jump in and that's going to be 80 euro fine and that's actually quite a bit of money. They are actually quite seldom, very rare to be honest. And also one thing to keep in mind that in local trains you can sometimes see these green uh, guys or girls in green costumes or green vests or green like these clothes and these are from the VR or like their Finnish railways. And they can also uh, ask you to show the ticket, but as far as I know, they cannot give you that fine, the 80 euro fine, but they can just kick you out from the train. But nevertheless, always ride with a ticket. So if you have the mobile app, you can just buy it very easily. It's very smooth and quick, but yeah, don't ride without the ticket because it's gonna bust your ass. Just quickly recap, buses, trams, metros, and trains can be used with the whole cell. Uh, tickets or the regular public transportation tickets. The uh, tickets you buy from the HOSL app can be used for all these vehicles. And in the last video I taught you how to actually buy the tickets and check the route so you definitely want to check out the video right here and make sure to subscribe for more fantastic videos in the future. I'll see you next time. So much.